While it is possible to hike into the Turner Lake chain, most people choose to fly in. With the access road to the trailhead still washed out in the summer of 2023, the only other way in is a 27 km hike with 2600 feet of elevation gain. Needless to say, this wasn't something we were interested in doing with all of our gear and our canoe. The float plane trip in with the spectacular view of Hunland Falls is almost worth the trip in itself. Well, that happened. Okay, that just happened. So we got everything. <laughs> there is something to be said about the feeling you get when you've just been dropped off deep into the back country and left to fend for yourselves. The TV show alone calls it the drop shock. For us, we were just happy to finally have our moment of solitude. Within the first 10 seconds of Chantal throwing her line into the water, she was reeling up a fish. We both knew that this was going to be a good trip. It wasn't long before we found ourselves at the south end of Turner Lake and at the first of five portages they would complete on our first day. Because of how rocky and narrow some of the portage trails are on this chain, we opted to leave the canoe cart at home and carry both our gear and the canoe. Most of the portage trails are short, however, the first one would prove one of the most difficult of the day as we adjusted to carrying everything. upstream into Cutthroat Lake. to arrive at Vista Lake.
carry the canoe, I was thankful for all of the canoe rests found on the trails. Chantel took a moment on the small body of water between Cutthroat and Vista Lake to look at our map to help decide on how far we wanted to go on our first day. After another short portage, we found ourselves paddling on Vista Lake. After a paddle up one more section of creek, and thankfully our last portage of the day, we made it to the campsite at Junker Lake. We set up camp and enjoyed the last bit of sunshine. Enjoying a beautiful and calm morning on Junker Lake, we decided it was time to add a few more stickers to our canoe. Every body of water that our boat sees, we add its name to the list for that year. I think something happened. Yeah, I think you got a fish. <laughs> After paddling to the far end of Junker Lake, we were thankful for the very short portage to our campsite for the next two nights at Widgeon Lake. This ticket may have been a dud, but I think we won the prize anyways.
In the morning, we headed down Widgeon Lake with an empty canoe towards Kidney Lake. We would leave our base camp at Widgeon Lake and make a day trip to Kidney and the hike up to Sunshine Lake. Arriving at Kidney Lake, we then made the short paddle across to check out the designated camping area. Leaving the campsite, we then paddled over to the far shore where the trailhead for Sunshine Lake starts. Mr. Chipmunk didn't seem too pleased about us hiking his trail. Considering that this is heavy grizzly territory, we were hoping that he would be the only one displeased today. Lots of signs of recent bear activity, but thankfully, no bears. Swampy. This is the official trail. Sunshine Lake. We made our way all the way back down to Widgeon Lake and tried our luck at fishing. And luck we had. Oh, I got something too. We got a double header right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Santel's got a fish! And Ryan's got a fish! <laughs> and Ryan's got a fish too! We got a fish too! <laughs> Who's Jesus. gonna. Whose fish is gonna be dinner though? That's the question. Ooh. Mine looks good, babe. Mine looks pretty good too. Hotel's got one. Brian's got one. Our thoughts quickly shifted from what was for dinner to just making sure we could make it back to camp in one piece. 
Weather patterns can change quickly on these high elevation lakes and some serious wind and waves had just kicked up. Leaving Widgeon Lake, we had a big day of travel ahead of us. Our goal was to camp back at Central Turner Lake where the float plane originally dropped us off. This meant we had four and a half bodies of water to cross, numerous sections of creek to navigate down, and six portages ahead of us. changed up our portage technique through some of the shorter sections. Instead of doing two trips, one with the canoe and gear and another with our packs, we decided instead to wear our packs and keep everything else in the canoe. This saved us a bunch of time and the hassle of completely unloading the canoe. Going with the flow of water in the creeks this time around, we both really enjoyed drifting downstream towards the interconnecting portage trails. After arriving and setting up at Turner Lake Central Campsite, we took a moment to add a few more stickers to the boat. took a walk to explore Tweedsmere Wilderness Camp located adjacent to the camping area. The cabins are all unlocked with fees for their use payable at Stewart's Lodge on Nimble Lake. It's hard not to appreciate all of the work that goes into keeping this area open and maintained for visitors. Without the help of Tweedsmere Air Service and the park operators from Stewart's Lodge, it would be impossible for this area to operate in the way that it does.
catch from earlier in the day, we enjoyed a nice trout dinner before settling for the night. Leaving camp. I have no idea what time it is either, but we are leaving Central Turner. It is super windy today. more effort put into just trying to keep the canoe straight rather than actually paddling, we arrived at North Turner Lake campsite without issues. Surviving the winds and the waves, we took a moment to warm back up with some coffee and hot chocolate. With hot drinks in hand, we watched Tweedsmere Air Service come in for a landing to pick up the only two other people canoeing the lake chain. With this couple picked up, we were now truly alone. While we'd seen it from the plane ride in, no trip to Turner Lake is complete without hiking out to the viewpoints of Hunland Falls. Shit. Oh shit. Okay. Get you on the ground. Oh wow. There's Turner Lake over there. Here's this ridge line. Falls are like straight ahead. The river is at the bottom. Dang. It's scary. Back away slowly. Don't trip.
The next morning, it was our turn to head home. Float plane back on Nippo Lake, our trip was officially over. Thanks for watching, and if you stuck around this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.